I'm David Tillman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about holy basil, or Tulsi, as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Holy basil, or Tulsi, is an aromatic shrub in the basil family that likely originates in north central India and now grows throughout the eastern tropics. Within Ayurvedic medicine, Holy basil, or Tulsi, is known as the incomparable one, mother medicine of nature, and the queen of herbs. Holy basil leaf includes the compounds eugenol, rosmarinic acid, carotenoids, vitamin C, calcium, iron, zinc, and chlorophyll. Research over the last decade shows holy basil's therapeutic benefits include use as an adaptogen for metabolism, for immune system support, protection from various forms of radiation is antimicrobial and anti-diabetic. When taking an overall broad view of how holy basil works to support human health, studies show that this adaptogen can be classified according to three main clinical domains. Metabolic disorders is 15 studies, cognition and mood conditions, four studies, and immunity and infections five studies. And note that inflammation is the underlying cause across all of these health issues. The anti-inflammatory effects of holy basil are attributed to multiple metabolites that act alone and synergistically to inhibit inflammatory pathways. The Ayurvedic tradition of using holy basil daily may be a highly effective way to treat many, many modern chronic diseases. Well first, holy basil protects the brain from chronic loud noise. Exposure to loud noise has been identified as a major environmental threat to public health. Loud noise exposure, apart from damaging your hearing, is bad news for your heart, endocrine, and uh, nervous system. Loud noise from any source damages DNA, suppresses major neurotransmitters, and weakens your immune system. Holy basil protects your brain from chronic exposure to loud noise. Researchers at the University of Madras subjected Wistar albino rats to 100 decibels of broadband white noise for 4 hours a day for 15 days. The team measured epinephrine, dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin levels in the rat brains and found that 15 days of chronic noise exposure had a significant negative impact on neurotransmitter levels. The researchers gave the rats holy basil extract, 70%, and found that this nootropic protected and maintained neurotransmitter levels from noise stress. And second, holy basil protects and boosts memory. Holy basil has been shown to be a potent acetylcholinesterase inhibitor. Acetylcholinesterase is the enzyme that helps break down acetylcholine once it's used in your brain. But too much acetylcholinesterase will suppress acetylcholine, which turn, in turn degrades learning and memory, and is particularly prevalent in Alzheimer's and other neurodegenerative disease patients. A study conducted in Japan had researchers induced dementia in rats. Then acetylcholinesterase activity was estimated in several different parts of the rat's brain. The rats were then given either water-based or alcohol-based extracts of holy basil. The researchers found that both extracts of holy basil significantly decreased acetylcholinesterase activity in the rats. The researchers concluded that holy basil was shown to be useful for the management of experimentally induced cognitive dysfunction. Of all the herbs used in Ayurveda, holy basil is the most revered, and research, recent research is now confirming how it works. Holy basil as an adaptogen can help physical, chemical, metabolic, and psychological stress through its unique combination of therapeutic actions. Tulsi can protect your brain and body against industrial pollution, heavy metals, physical stress from strenuous physical exertion, stroke, exposure to cold, and excessive noise. Holy basil can normalize blood glucose, blood pressure, and high cholesterol, and boost memory and cognition through its anxiolytic properties and antidepressant qualities. It can protect against human and animal pathogens. It's an antimicrobial. 
And it's even used as a hand sanitizer, a mouthwash, and a water purifier. Holy basil protects against toxic chemicals by increasing your body's levels of glutathione and increasing the activity of antioxidant enzymes like superoxide dismutase and catalase, mopping up free radicals and other toxins. Tulsi protects your brain against the toxic effects of many pharmaceuticals like acetaminophen and others, many others. And holy basil shields your brain from heavy metals such as arsenic, cadmium, chromium, and mercury, and from the toxic effects of radiation. Holy basil as a nootropic can help boost memory by inhibiting acetylcholine esterase, which helps increase acetylcholine and may help prevent neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia. One Reddit user reported that holy basil tea worked great for her anxiety. It was like a hug in a mug. Unlike using a benzo like Xanax to numb you, Holy basil helps you handle stress head on, allowing you to stay present and work through your problems. Neurohackers report that holy basil helps them sleep through the night, levels out their mood, and keeps them sane. Holy basil may help to reduce work-related stress and help you deal with annoying coworkers. Students may find that holy basil helps them deal with the stress of exams. And holy basil is a potent, COX-2 inhibitor and anti-inflammatory, which means that it should help provide relief from joint, muscle, and arthritic pain. The therapeutic and nootropic properties of holy basil have been shown, known for millennia and is considered a sacred plant by the Hindus of India. But clinical studies with holy basil in the lab and a few human studies only began in the late 20th century. So we now have scientific evidence supporting holy basil's antimicrobial, adaptogenic, anti-diabetic, anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer, radiation protecting, immune system boosting, neuroprotective, heart protecting, and as a mosquito repellent just to name a few. But most holy basil clinical studies so far have been done with animals. Human studies are, are few and we must uh, normally rely on reports from the biohacking community on how well holy basil works as a nootropic supplement. Now I've got more studies over on Nootropics Expert in the main transcript for this, this uh, video. I've got one on holy basil counts, uh, counters radiation DNA damage which is a big deal when it comes to things like uh, radiation damage or DNA damage caused by your cell phone, for example, and Wi-Fi. I've got another study on how holy basil um, works for anxiety. And I've got another one that uh, study that showed that holy basil was as good as Valium. So to see more of these clinical studies in, in detail, click on the link below this video or go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for holy basil. And there you'll find detailed uh, descriptions of these studies as well as links through the clinical studies themselves. Recommended dosage of holy basil extract is 300 to 2000 milligrams a day. For curative therapy, 600 to 1800 milligrams of holy basil extract divided into two or three doses daily. For diabetes, 2500 milligrams of holy basil dried leaf powder per day. You can easily make holy basil tea by pouring boiling water over two teaspoons of fresh holy basil leaves and let it steep for five minutes. Holy basil is considered non-toxic and safe to use even at higher doses, but toxicity has been reported for holy basil essential oil, 70% eugenol, at 42.5 milligrams uh, or milliliters per kilogram of body weight. So I'm not sure about this humans. This was done in animals. So just be a little bit careful about holy basil essential oil and how you use it. If you are hypoglycemic or have a bleeding disorder, you should use caution when supplementing with holy basil. Holy basil has been shown to significantly decrease sperm count in males. And we have reports that uh, village women and Ayurvedic physicians have used holy basil leaves 
for its anti-fertility effect. The mechanism of action of sperm reduction seems to be associated with a significant increase in circulating testosterone, which decreases luteinizing hormone, but not sufficiently in the testes for normal spermatogenesis. Decreased luteinizing hormone levels seems to reduce the production of testosterone in testes by Leydig cells, resulting in reduced sperm production. Researchers are now conducting studies to find out if holy basil will work as an effective male contraceptive. But this anti-sperm effect is reversible on discontinuation of holy basil use. Holy basil or Tulsi is easily found in most health food stores and vitamin shops worldwide. It's available in capsules, dried powder, fresh leaves, liquid extracts, and as Tulsi tea, including in individual tea bags. But do not confuse holy basil for sweet basil, which is commonly used as a condiment in the kitchen. The scientific names for these are over on the original transcript for this video on Nootropics Expert. But holy basil and sweet basil are two very, very different things. It's holy basil that has the nootropic properties, not sweet basil. Three types of holy basil are used therapeutically. Krishna, which has purplish, purplish leaves and makes a great tea. It's the most potent and is highest in concentrations of uh, adaptogens. Vanna is the original wild bush basil, which is high in eugenol as in a great adaptogen. It's native to India and parts of Africa. And Rama, um, this holy basil was originally imported, this is the holy basil that was originally imported into the USA, and it's the most common type which is now grown in the USA, which is Osimum Sanctum. Always choose holy basil that is grown organically, and if possible, wild harvested as well. If you are in the USA or can purchase nootropic supplements in the USA, I re recommend uh, Gaia Herbs Holy Basil Leaf Extract, um, Himalaya Holy Basil Extract, Organic India Tulsi Tea, and Gaia Herbs Holy Basil Leaf Liquid. Um, to see links through to where you can buy these, go to the original transcript over on Nootropics Expert. And that's my report on holy basil. If you want to see links about the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for holy basil, or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video, and you'll find dozens of articles and all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions, or you want to share your experience using holy basil, use the comments section at the bottom of the post over on Nootropics Expert. I usually respond to comments and questions over on Nootropics Expert usually the same day. And if you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain, get a copy of my book Head First, and if you think you could use the help, book a personal consultation with me. If you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on um, nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.